Peaceful greetings. What's going on, everyone? It's Dr. Jeff. This is the 2022 Commemorative Fast, recognizing my mother, Evelyn Hubbard, and everything she did in my life and the life of others. Guys, day 63, two months in, still going strong. Uh, uh, as always, appreciate all the support and, and uh, responses to the videos. Today, we're talking about something that I think is extremely valuable and not necessarily considered in your daily wellness efforts, which is sleep hygiene. Guys, if you're not sleeping properly, if you're not getting the appropriate anabolic response in your body while you're resting, you're not going to be prepared for the next day. And it creates a, a really unhealthy cycle um, of you know doing things to make sure that you're alert and oriented and able to complete your day i.e. caffeine, i.e. nicotine, i.e. Uh, stress, <laughs> just a lot of different things that happen if you don't get ample rest, all right? So you might be asking yourself, well, what is ample rest? Ample rest is maybe four hours for you, maybe five hours for me, maybe seven hours or eight hours for the next person. It's all about what is required for you to wake up refreshed and ready to go the next day. All right. So we talked last video about a couple of things that are really valuable to start is removing your devices from the general proximity of your bed. They need to be at least two feet away from you while you're sleeping. So that's your phone, your tablet, your laptop, um, your wearable devices, your Bluetooth, whatever the case may be, it needs to be at least two feet away from you while it's charging or while you're getting restful sleep. That is to protect you from uh, the harmful exposure to electromagnetic radiation. So we get enough of that during the day. It's important for us to get their prop appropriate uh, rest at night. So we need to move those away, all right? Some people have an overthinking problem. It makes them have a hard time turning their brain off. One cool hack that you can uh, use to combat that is a overnight to-do list, all right? So you write down the things that you want your subconscious to address while you're resting, and you'll be surprised how over the course of the next day or so, you're able to resolve those issues a little bit more effectively. So you release those from your mind onto the page and you say, I'm going to handle these things while I'm resting. And your subconscious is more than capable of doing that. All right. Uh, also, guys, feng shui is a Eastern practice. And it talks about the way that your furniture should be oriented, the way that your room should be oriented. So we won't get into too much of that. But one of the major things they recommend is not having your TV in your room. So I make it a point not to have a TV in my room. Um, when I go into my bed and go into my space, that is my place for resting. So it's almost like you induce your body when you get into the bed to know that it's time to rest and time to relax. Um, so I was told during my psychiatric rotation by one of the cooler psychiatrists at my training hospital is that uh, your bed should only be for two things, resting and intercourse, right? So if you keep that focus, no reading in the bed, no talking on the phone in the bed, no playing video games, electronics and things like that in the bed, definitely no working in bed, right? So do all of those things in those respective places, in your office, at a desk, um, you know, wherever you need to be, where work is done, that's where work is done. Bed is for rest. All right. Um, and also guys take into consideration that, you know, um, there are certain things that distract you from getting a deep sleep. So you want to make sure that your blinds are pulled and that light is not disturbing you. If you're sensitive to light, you don't want to leave the TV on, as we mentioned. You don't want to leave lights on. You, you want to make sure that the environment is most appropriate for you to get restful sleep. Last but not least, guys, lack of sleep, the inability to get to sleep or stay asleep is one of the most common symptoms associated with depression and mood change and anxiety issues, stress related, all right? So take into consideration if for some reason you're not sleeping well, you're not sleeping appropriately, look outside of the actual act of sleeping to figure out what may be contributing to the challenges and you getting comfortable and relaxing. Um, something that you can do right off the bat from day one of watching this video is grab some melatonin. Um, they come in all uh, different types. There's tinctures, there's tablets, there's capsules. Melatonin is kind of um, 
a well-known uh, hormone that helps us to regulate our circadian rhythm, our sleep cycle. So guys, really important to make sure that you're giving just as much effort towards having a healthy sleep as you are to building muscle, as you are to uh, being alert and oriented. Um, you'll really notice that when your sleep pattern is appropriate, you'll start to function more appropriately. All right, great stuff. See you next video.